Welcome back for another video. In today's video, we'll discuss the recent decline of the Palantir stock. So please stay tuned because at the end of this, you will be able to know when this downfall will last. The results of intelligent software business Palantir Technologies have disappointed the market for the second time in a row, resulting in a 25% reduction in the company's stock price. The price of $11.02 is 75% lower last February 21 than it was at its all-time high in January. When it came to the company's fourth quarter results, revenues had increased 34% year-on-year, but it was the losses that disappointed, an operating loss of $59 million, resulting in earnings per share of $0.02, cents, when analysts had expected earnings per share of $0.04. Cents. The company reported a net loss of $156.19 million for the whole year, despite the fact that total revenue increased by 41% year-on-year to $1.54 billion. The business, which develops software platforms that are widely utilized by the United States intelligence community, has been attempting to discover new markets for its products. Over the course of the year, its commercial revenue increased by 34% year-on-year to $645 million, while its government revenue increased by 47 percent to $897 million. It also stated that it closed 64 deals worth $1 million or more in the quarter, including 27 deals worth at least $5 million and 19 deals worth $10 million or more. In terms of revenue expectations, the corporation stated that it expected $443 million in revenue for the first quarter of 2022. With a robust balance sheet, no debt, and expanding margins, would Palantir prove to be a good long-term investment? Is Palantir stock a buy, a sell, or a hold at the moment? Palantir was formed in 2004 by a group of investors that included Peter Thiel, the co-founder of PayPal, among others. The company made its initial public offering on the New York Stock Exchange on September 30, 2020, and it closed at $9.50 on the first day of trading on October 1, 2020, marking its debut on the stock market. Palantir Stock Analysis Is it a good bet to buy Palantir stock? Following a seemingly speculative peak of $39 on 27 January 2021, the Palantir share price has been on a downward track since a 9.35% contraction on 9 November 2021. The stock has maintained a solid foundation since then. Since then, the stock price has lost a significant amount of value, falling by 22.25% in November and 6.04% in December of 2021. Losses had already reached 29.98% in January 2022, which was on top of the three-month loss of 49.12% at the time. Last week's performance demonstrated that Palantir's stock has been on a protracted decline, with the price declining by 7.46% on January 21. The stock of Palantir is falling in line with a pattern that has been observed across the technology sector, reflecting two years of a sustained bull market that has favored technology firms strongly. The Nasdaq 100, a technology-heavy index that is expected to grow by about 30% in 2021, has fallen by 13.16% so far in January, according to the most recent data. Stock predictions for Palantir are made on the basis of uncertainty, as is the case with most stocks. The technical analysis of the Palantir stock price reveals that some pessimism still exists surrounding a firm that is already experiencing significant losses. One-day oscillators were showing that the stock was in the neutral area, with a relative strength index score of 29.17 indicating that the asset may be underbought or underestimated. Although the company has had a significant decline, moving averages were more bearish, suggesting that the stock may still be overvalued despite the decline. In the stock, some 20 of its 22 indicators have signaled that it is a sell, with an exponential moving average of 11.09 and a simple moving average of 10.95, respectively. As the stock advances closer to its opening day, closing price of $9.50, it has support levels of $10.75 to fall back to. The artificial intelligence industry is expanding. With each passing year, the artificial intelligence market continues to expand its footprint as it integrates itself into the structural framework of the commercial and government sectors, 
resulting in a significant gain in revenue. According to Gartner Research, the worldwide artificial intelligence software industry is expected to expand by 21.3% by 2022, reaching more than $62 billion. In particular, knowledge management has seen a 31.5% increase in growth, while autonomous cars have had a 20.1% increase. It is a trend that indicates increased awareness of the benefits of artificial intelligence among businesses, as well as increased demand. According to a Gartner survey, which found that 48% of all chief information officers surveyed had deployed or planned to deploy AI and deep learning machine technologies in the next 12 months. As a result, there are a plethora of growth engines at work. According to one analysis, cybersecurity-driven artificial intelligence would generate money at a rate of 23.6% per year by 2027, amounting to $46.3 billion. Palantir's information security technology will aim to benefit from a significant chunk of this growth as the firm strives to expand its reach across the potential of artificial intelligence. Government contracts are continuing to increase in value. However, despite broad signs of a healthy balance sheet, Palantir's earnings results for the third quarter of 2021, which were revealed on 15 November 2021, proved to accelerate the stock's decline from previous highs and back towards its initial public offering price. Total revenues increased by 36% year-on-year, reaching $392 million in the third quarter of 2021. An increase in revenue was realized through the onboarding of new customers, with the total number of clients reaching 203, up from 142 in the prior year quarter, and the number of commercial customers increasing by 46% since Q2 2021. Revenues are divided between the government, which has increased by 34% from a year earlier, and the commercial sector, which has increased by 37%. Among other things, new contracts with the armed forces, the Space Force, and the United States Department of Health and Human Services contributed to an increase in government revenue for the group in 2021. The stability and funding of these departments may provide an additional incentive for investors to purchase Palantir shares ahead of other artificial intelligence startups with a stronger commercial reach, particularly as the market becomes more negative. Between 2017 and 2020, U.S. military spending as a percentage of GDP increased to 3.741%, whereas U.S. health expenditures amounted to 19.7% of GDP in 2020 or $4.1 trillion, reflecting a $4.1 trillion increase. Even a small portion of those proceeds could be beneficial to Palantir's rapidly expanding financial sheet. Revenues from the government have increased by 57% in the first nine months of 2021, while commercial revenue has increased by 29%, boosting the government's share of total revenue by four percentage points. The company's adjusted profits per share of 0.04 cents topped analysts' expectations by 0.01 cents. Nonetheless, the company suffered a loss of $102 million, resulting in a GOP net loss per share of 0.05 cents for the quarter. It is stock-based compensation that accounts for a significant portion of the gap between GOP and non-GOP results with the corporation having spent $611 million on this channel through the first nine months of 2021. Palantir has been able to free up considerable amounts of cash reserves, which totaled $2.4 billion as of the end of the fiscal year on September 30, 2021. This could indicate that Palantir is a corporation with a robust balance sheet that is less reliant on debt, which should provide the company more confidence if monetary policy begins to move in a contractionary direction this year. Palantir's positive cash flow is out of the ordinary when compared to other high-growth technology businesses. Palantir's choice to return all of its lenders resulted in a significant disparity in debt levels when compared to other technology companies with similar market capitalizations. In some cases, the difference was more than $1 billion. As a result of its operations, the company has continued to generate cash flow generating $240 million in the first nine months of 2021, as opposed to MondoDB, which lost more than $15 million in ANZUS, which generated $448 million in cash flow, 
despite having long-term debt of $753 million. Inflation, which was running at 7% in the United States in December, works to devalue the debt levels of Palantir's competitors over time, and while the company's ability to deliver cash without addressing debt is a sign of security, it may also cause the group to experience rapid devaluations in its cash levels because of this. Due to the fact that Palantir continues to burn through large amounts of cash at the expense of stock issuance or reinvestment, it is possible that investor sell-offs will continue in the same vein. The company's operations, however, are becoming more efficient, as evidenced by the company's margins increasing from 11% in the first nine months of 2020 to 32% in the first nine months of 2021, and a five percentage point increase between the third quarter of 2020 and the third quarter of 2021. This indicates that the company's balance sheet has a significant amount of room to grow in order to generate significant gains in its stock price over time. During its most recent earnings call, the company increased its revenue guidance for the year, projecting full-year revenue growth of 40% to $1.527 billion in 2021, with free cash flow expectations increased by more than $100 million to more than $400 million, and a longer-term revenue outlook of 30% or more per year between 2021 and 2025. The stock has a consensus hold recommendation, with one analyst recommending a buy, three recommending a hold, and another two recommending the sell. A downgrade from $25 to $18 by Deutsche Bank on January 21, 2022, resulted in the company's stock price dropping by 9.63% on the same day. Nonetheless, this represented a 23.12% gain on the day of the report, which could indicate that the sell-off was a little overzealous. However, when viewed in the context of previous downgrades, such as Jeffrey's financial groups reduction in its Palantir stock price target from $31 to $24, which was still a 43.37% upside at the time, it may appear more reasonable to investors. The stock price of Palantir, according to Wallet Investor's forecast, would continue to decline over the medium term. For this time next year, the algorithm-based forecasting firm predicted a price objective of $10.76 for the stock. Palantir, on the other hand, was expected to be effectively zero in five years' time, in February 2027, according to the service. The algorithm used by Coin Price Forecast is far more bullish, with a price estimate of $22.41 by 2025 and $45.14 by 2030, according to the company. It's important to remember that analyst predictions can be wrong. Forecasts should not be used as a substitute for thorough research on your own part. Always perform your own due diligence before making a financial investment, and never put money into an investment or trade that you cannot afford to lose. That's all for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please tell us in the comments section whether or not you agree with this forecast. Let us know. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.